Hello, welcome to my Pokemon Journey, episode 130, the finals 2, Toy with Review. We're finally back with Ash ready to unleash his counter against Leon and Mr. Rhyme. He sends out Surfetched, and we have a pretty cool brief clash where we get into a little Sword and Cane fight. Of course, Mr. Rhyme can abuse Expanding Force in addition to the Psychic Terrain to get a big hit on. Followed by Triple Axel as Surfetched is separated from its shield. Surfetched makes really cool use of the detect to propel itself with its leak, and is able to grab the shield back before another Triple Axel makes contact. You get a pretty crazy move from Ash as he gets Surfetched to Fury Cut to the ground catches Leon off guard as he gets Mr. Rhymes ready to defend itself. But Ash gets Surfetch to cut into the ground, which destroys the psychic terrain. It's really cool how Ash had faith in Surfetch to do this specific maneuver. It was something he deemed only Surfetch could do, and he went ahead and did it. I dig that. And yeah, okay, this is definitely something you can't do in a game, but it's just one of those crazy Ash strategies that work out really well and really highlight Surfetch's skill. I really enjoy the way that characters like Leon and Dawn appreciate that move. This gives Ash a chance to recall Surfetch, and he sends out Lucario. You get a really cool moment where it illustrates a swap between the two fighting types at a high touch, one passing the bat into another. And what really caught me off guard is how Ash and Lucario Mega Roll right off the bat. It's just so common to be used as a last resort or a trump card play. Having it come out now really throws off what could be anticipated from a battle. I do think it's a good storytelling method though, as it shows just how strong Leon is. Lucario could have easily denied the Mega Revolution right now like he did against B. Ash could have just waited and like, held it off until like Leon used the gimmick like he did against Tokus in the last battle. But we just go ahead for it, like right as soon as Lucario hits the field. It's also very worth mentioning that as Lucario flexes its Mega Aura, we get some Gala Particles in the air. I was running about with Cement until I saw the next episode preview. So Mr. Rhyme dodges the Bullet Punch and it hits a strong Triple Axel on Lucario, battering it with a second one. Lucario uses its Aura to sense where Mr. Rhyme will come from and charges an Aura Sphere. Leon challenges that and gets Mr. Rhyme to move in. However, as it does, Lucario fires off his Aura Sphere and the Ice Field fades. Mr. Rhyme goes down. Lucario, however, is incredibly tired after this match, but you can, you can likely guess where that's going. Dragvolt comes out and is battered by Bullet Punch, where Flamethrower gets Ash to recall Lucario quickly and send out Dracovish instead. I really enjoy that even in a serious battle like this, we get Dracovish's wacky style battling to thrive. As Dragon Dark coming in, it just munches down one of the Dreepies, which Leon has to get the other one to come in and hit Dracovish to release the other. But this is a weird impact on Dracovish as these energy channels erupt from its body. Cynthia theorizes its dormant dragon power from Dracovish. And that's actually kind of creepy in a way, because it's like, oh, now we're messing with a force from like a time long go gone. Like, that's kind of creepy, I like it. I guess it's good that a ghost type helped activate that. I really like how Leon is ready to not let this be an advantage, however, hitting Dracovish with a Thunderbolt and moving in for another attack. However, the tendrils can be used to bind Dragapult and allow a big fish to surrender to come out. Leon has a counter to this, however, as he's got Dragon Tail on Dragapult, which extends insanely long, and while Dragapult is getting frozen by Ice Fang, it's able to free itself by getting Dracovish to be a strange Dragonite. This is a pretty quick back and forth as Dragonite can't step a Dragon Dance properly as it's barraged by Dragon Darts and can't get a good hit on them with Dragon Claw either. Dragapult recalls a Dreepy and Leon gets to hit Dragonite with Dragon Tail and draw out Mega Lucario. So this is where the Toy Around title comes in. Ash keeps on getting potential advantages against Dragapult, but it's able to take those away by phasing him out with Dragon Tail. It actually almost gets Ash to take a moment and just take a breath as Pikachu is worried about him. Ash trusts Lucario ever, so he goes in with a Bullet Punch. It tries a reversal to counter a Thunderbolt, but this gets Lucario paralyzed. Leon smiles as Lucario is unable to move and gets Dragapult to fire a Flamethrower. Lucario takes the full brunt of the attack and falls, reverting back to its regular form. Leon successfully taken Lucario out of battle, which I found incredibly shocking while watching live. You know, even though I had been campaigning for Dragapult to carry Lucario for the last week, I just didn't expect that to actually happen, you know? Also, while seeing this live, I was thinking this would be the end of the episode. It carried a lot of tension, but we still have a little bit left to go. Ash with a smile sends out Dragonite, trying to take an advantage of Hurricane. Dragapult fires off a Thunderbolt to stop the Hurricane, and I actually really like this. Leon calls it a simple move, but it does feel like something Ash would have done. It's basically used defensively, and it's just really cool how it stopped the Hurricane. Ash's play is to make Dragonite fly up before Dragon Darts can hit, and retaliate with a Draco Meteor. As Dragapult and Madripi fly in, dodging with Draco Meteors, which is a really cool looking sequence by the way, Dragonite grabs Dragapult as it tries to Thunderbolt, becoming the Meteor and finishing off Dragapult. This is awesome for multiple reasons. It feels like it ties into Dragonite's habit of hugging everyone and everything, and but it also felt very reminiscent of Charizard using Seismic Loss as a finisher. Dragonite's also had a bit of a rough patch recently, so taking out one of Leon's Pokemon is awesome. Of course, while Leon's behind numbers wise, he reminds Ash now that all of his Pokemon are worn out. And while we know that Leon's Charizard, Rillaboom, and Cinderace are all perfectly healthy. And speaking of, he sends out his Rillaboom, which we know is a massive threat as the episode ends. Do I even need to say I love this episode? It was a fantastic follow up from last week's episode, and I think it really kept up a complete back and forth between the two. Of course, seeing Ash make use of a tactical switch after disabling Psychic Terrain with Surfetch was great. He had a plan to get rid of it, and then made use of Lucario after, since Psychic Terrain blocks priority moves like Bullet Punch. And of course, Leon has a plan to whistle down all of Ash's Pokemon Dragon Tail. I just love completely seeing how they approach each other and how they retaliate. Of course, the big surprise of this episode was how Lucario went down. 
But considering it's time to shine and put down Garchomp, it's more than reasonable to see. It's kind of like how after being given Mega Mexagross, Pikachu went down early against Cynthia. Makari did its best here, got a KO, and potentially caused some more story about being on its way with the Gala Particles. And of course it's nice to see a bit of kinship between it and Surfetch. I'm just so upset we didn't get more of this throughout the series, because seeing that High Five as they head into the final battle would have been sick if I brought their friendship more. And what a joy it was seeing Dragapult pop up here. And a specific role on Leon's team and it pulled it off with that hitch. Beijing Ash's Pokemon out and getting big hits to whittle them down, going up against numerous heavy hitters and managing to keep going and going, causing Ash a devastating loss. Overall, I'd say this battle is a huge back and forth. I generally can't tell who wins this full power showdown. It's a really great episode and very worth watching.